Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's recap of American Idol, the top 10 results show. Oh boy, what a bunch of results this was. So they began the show with the old post-show supper club. I like that they call it that. Yeah, and apparently this is taking the place of the group sings that they used to do. God. I guess it was just too much God. of a mess in the past. It's... I think people are really enjoying the post-show supper club. I know I am. I was thinking, like, cut this uh, results show down to half an hour. Let's get half an hour of that supper club. <laughs> Give Keith his own show, and we're good. Yeah. All right. So at the supper club, they were saying how much that uh, they loved that the judges were imitating each other because mm -hmm. it was pretty funny. Then they added in that they loved when Caleb imitated Ryan, and then Ryan gave it right back to Caleb. And It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. funny. Did you guys catch at the supper club when somebody threw food at somebody else? What a bunch it, of jokesters. Yeah. All right, well, it was time to get some results, but first, Dexter got a special message from Florida Georgia Line. I love when the artists take the time mm -hmm. to either tweet or call in or do a video message. I yeah. think that makes a big difference in the show. I think that's a lot of fun. It is a lot and of fun. And it's just, like, cool. <laughs> it's a cool thing to do. Unfortunately, he may have gotten a message, but he was also in the bottom three. Ooh. Oh, Dexter. <sighs> So, the theme tonight for the judges and for Ryan, they were all talking about the first time they heard themselves on the radio. Well, J-Lo, the first time she heard herself on the radio was when she was driving the streets of New York, and they heard her song, and they blasted it. <laughs> And Keith was down we'll in Australia. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I, I didn't make any note of it, so we might as well just talk about it now. About how Keith was in Australia, mm -hmm. and it was a little show, and he was like, oh, wow, that's me. Cold the peat feet. <laughs> Maybe he called in. Maybe. And Harry... He sucked. <laughs> he heard himself on the radio, and he's like, ooh, everyone's going to call in now and say how great that was. Some hip-hop song, wasn't it? Yeah. And everyone called in and said, you suck, sir. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> And Ryan with his voice like a mess, John Segata. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Big rookie mistake. <laughs> All right. So J-Lo took this opportunity to perform her new single, I La Ya Pape. Yeah. <laughs> so the performance started out with this little skit of sorts. They brought back some of the old past contestants, Jessica Sanchez, Allison Irahita, and Pia Toscano. It looked like a little set from Sesame Street, except they plastered Bronx on the wall because they didn't want you to have any mistake where She's they were. From the block. Let's not forget that. The Bronx. All right, so... They had, like, a little conversation with the four of them. They were like, oh, who do you like this season? Blah, 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 blah. I like Sam. I don't know him. I thought this part was kind of cheesy, but, like, a lot of people in the Z-Box room were loving it. So, I didn't really love it. You know. I didn't really enjoy Whatever floats your boat. that song either because it sucked. <laughs> she got up there, she did her dance, she dropped her vagina open for oh. all the world to see. That's the mark of a real quality song when really? you have to drop it open like that and leave it. She held it there for about a good 10 seconds. All right. Well, all I'm going to say about that is that I really, really, really want someone to parody that. I want some I Love You Puppy. Come on. We it need a song like about she's puppies. Puppy. Anyway, Please. I got one thing to say. Ew, ew. All right, moving on. I'm sorry. I just like old J Lo better. Yeah, me too. I miss that. Me too. I don't like the poppy. All right. Well, it was time for Caleb to learn his results, but before he did that, he apologized for something he said last night. They did just get their media training, so yeah, I guess he learned. <laughs> You don't put peanuts in other idol contestants' underwears when they're allergic to them. He was joking, but he didn't want it to be misconstrued, so he just went ahead and apologized for it. I thought that was a good move on his part. Was, yeah, I don't think he meant any harm in it. It was a good backpedal. But. <laughs> well, another shocker. We find out that Majesty Rose is in the bottom. I mean, it's not a huge shocker because she was in the bottom last week, but I thought she redeemed herself. Apparently... 
I thought America she was, didn't think so. I thought she was too popular to be in the bottom. Yeah. I guess I was wrong. Either right. that or people probably thought she was safe with that performance. Well, next up, it was Harry's turn to showcase an up-and-coming artist, so he picked the band Royal Teeth. And they performed their single, Wild. Mm -hmm. They're from New Orleans or from uh, Louisiana. I'm not sure which or both. Louisiana. But <laughs> I don't know if they're actually from New Orleans. I didn't like them. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you guys in the Z-Box chat were not feeling this group at all. I think it was cool to hear something different. Um, it was different, but I just, it's not my thing. Maybe that just wasn't a good performance for them. I don't know. I Maybe would be they're better in the to hear studio. them in the studio. I do have to say, though, not what I would expect from Harry. No. I think he's I'm, been hanging out at Ultra too much. I'm really surprised he would pick that style of music, but again, they are from Louisiana. Exactly. All right, so another uh, celebrity check-in. Hunter Hayes had a message for CJ because he did his song last night. So immediately I was like, does that mean CJ's in the bottom? I hope not. He wasn't. MK was the last one in the bottom. I'm a little surprised that CJ didn't find himself there because I am last too. night was rough. It was rough. I felt really bad for him because mm -hmm. I really like him. But MK was in the bottom and she was the bottom, unfortunately. Yep, she for was her. the bottom, bottom. So she sang. Um, and the judges had a very long discussion. They did. So I was, I was like, a whoa, are they using the save? J Lo uses the save on everyone. Yeah. But, but it's remember, gotta it's unanimous. gotta be unanimous. Right. It seemed like Keith may have been agreeing with her. I'm not sure. It seemed like Harry was the lone holdout. Mm hmm. But they did not use the save, and uh, we don't have to worry about having to go home next week because they didn't use it. Yeah. I think um, MK is really talented. She seems like a great person, but she was just too inconsistent for this show. Yeah. So I think to use the save would have probably been a mistake, but... Would you guys have used the save? Let us know in the comments. Because we want to know. I don't think I would have. I would have been the Harry. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us on Z-Box tonight. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, try it next week. Yeah, we'll leave the link in the description box. Mm -hmm. And we'll check you guys out next week. Till then, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.